Flying along, enjoying this epic drone shoot, getting quite far away, setting up for another drone shot, but you know, it's fine, I can still see the drone. Ah, weak signal, I just intend has seen that before. No big deal, just a little glitch in the transmission, it'll come back in a second. Okay, maybe not, I haven't seen that before. Let's rewind a second and see what actually happened there, because I was too busy flying the drone to really pay that much attention to the telemetry at the time. Pay close attention to the distance, to the remote control signal strength, and to the little compass. You need to get intimately familiar with these items. I'm down on amber signal strength and then I go to red signal strength. Now I've seen this loads of times before I regularly fly from inside a car. I expect weaker signal and interference. Nothing has really ever phased me in this respect. Having a glitchy camera view in these environments is very common, but I've never had a complete signal failure between the controller and the drone itself, and that's exactly what happened here. The compass is my primary tool for knowing where the drone is at any point in time, but look at what happened here when we had a signal failure. The blue arrow is the drone and the blue circle is where the controller is, so where you are standing in the event of the signal failure, the compass defaults with north at the top, the blue circle turns to grey and it becomes completely useless for getting your drone home. Well, what about the maps, I hear you ask? Well, in this instance, I was using the DJI RC with the integrated screen. It does not have SIM connectivity, and I was having a bit of trouble connecting it to my phone's personal hotspot to use the data for my phone to download the maps onto the controller itself. So I did not have maps set up. Now, I knew this, I just didn't bother because I didn't think this was really going to come up, to be honest with you. Now, of course, folks, I was flying a visual line of sight, so there shouldn't really have been any problem, should there? Well, let me show you what actually happened and how you can still get caught out. Keep in mind that in the event of this signal failure, I could not see what the drone saw. My first person view turned grey. But look at this, immediately return to home is initiated. The drone spins round and starts raising its altitude to the predetermined return to home altitude set in the DJI Fly app. A few seconds later, the drone and the controller re-establish a full signal strength connection. Another piece of great news. However, during this whole process, given that the drone was flying away with me at the time of signal loss, I've been pulling back on the right stick, trying to fly the drone back towards me. Because I didn't realise that return to home had been successfully initiated and the drone had been spun round, the action of me pulling backwards on the right stick is actually flying the drone further away from me. In all of 15 seconds, the drone is no longer 480 meters away from me, but 570 meters away from me. The absolute last thing you need in this event. But Stuart, if you have visual line of sight, you'll have known what was going on. Well, yes, I could see it, but depth perception at that distance is very, very poor. You can see objects going from side to side, but at 500 meters away, you've got no idea whether it's going forwards or backwards. Fortunately, however, I fairly quickly realised that we had telemetry back on the compass and I could see that the drone was in fact pointed right towards the controller and as such I was flying backwards. Panic over, with the compass up and running, I am happy, fly it forwards towards myself. Note however that it wasn't until the drone was 50 metres away that I got the camera view back. All's well that ends well, but a keen reminder that you need to be intimately familiar with your compass, your maps and your return to home settings. In the safety settings, we can adjust our auto return to home altitude. I've got it set to 100 meters here. That's kind of high to be honest with you. That would use a lot of battery if the drone shot up to 100 meters. So I would say keep an eye on that on a case by case scenario. In the advanced safety settings, we have three choices for how the drone should react in the event of a signal failure. Return to home, which you've just witnessed. Descend, so the drone will descend and hover. If you're flying in a forest, for example, hover would be a pretty good option because you don't want the drone shooting up into the trees in the event of a signal failure. My strong recommendation, however, is that you do a dummy run. Find out how the drone will react in the event of a signal failure. As you saw, I was okay in this scenario because the drone wasn't too far away and I fairly quickly realised what was going on, but nonetheless, I still accidentally took the drone an extra 80 metres or so away, which really wasn't helpful given the circumstances. No matter your level of experience, it's a very uncomfortable situation feeling out of control, so hopefully this has helped give you an insight into what happens in these kind of scenarios and will make your life a little bit easier should it happen to you. Pleasure to talk to you as always, and we will see you next time.